Hello, my fellow traders. This is your host, Mandeep. It is Saturday, August the 20th, and um, I'm going to do another tutorial today. Today's scan, we're going to look at the option hacker and try and identify stocks that have unusual high option activity and how we can incorporate that into our trading methodology. So let's head over to the scan and under uh, in the past, I've looked at the stock hacker and I've done a number of tutorials based on that. But today we'll take a look at this option hacker, which is uh, somewhat similar uh, in, in features and capabilities, but it's actually <clears throat> relevant for option activity. So what we'll do is we'll add a filter, but we're going to add a stock uh, fil uh, an option filter here and we'll scroll down and take a look at the volume. Now in this case, the volume that we look at is a minimum of 10,000 uh, contracts traded. So 10, 1, 2, 3. Right? So that's the first filter. We'll leave the max open. Then let's add another option feature and say, um, you know, what is the days to exp expiry? And we, we want to pick like six days out because we don't want to count today uh, or this last week because that's already passed. And, and uh, let's make it uh, relatively short dated. Um, and so we have our second criteria. And then we'll add... Uh, uh, you know what kind of option this is is it calls or put um, there's two ways of doing this but this is the simpler way we're just looking at calls uh, and the last thing we'll do is we'll add a filter related to the stock because you're looking for um, an option called the call sizzle index so I'll explain that in a second and uh, essentially uh, we're looking for uh, those contracts where the option value was two times the average of the last five days. So that's uh, uh, that, that's a pretty, you know, a, a decent criteria. And uh, so we'll just hit the scan button and see what kind of stocks do we get. And, and the thing that uh, pops up is um, um, Occidental Petroleum. Uh, and this had some news related to it. So the news essentially was that uh, Warren Buffett has been acquiring shares uh, in this company for um, last many many months uh, but he filed a, a document with the i believe with the sec uh, stating his intent that he would like to acquire up to 50 percent uh, of uh, the uh, of these shares that really doesn't mean he's going to acquire all 50 but at least he he has the option now that that document is filed okay so now let's just head over back into the charts and we'll see the the, the chart for oxy uh, oxy hair and uh, one of the things you notice is the spike in volume that occurred around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's when the actual news was released, right? But our trading strategy, uh, which is UTS or uh, Ultimate Trading Strategy, is spotted this a little bit earlier uh, because oftentimes there are people who are already aware that this news is uh, uh, about to be released or come out. But either way, uh, <clears throat> our strategy is not predicated on any kind of news or you know scraping for articles or fundamentals all it's looking at is, is pure technicals right so if you right click on it and click on the show report part uh, it shows you the trade uh, got triggered at 750 and uh, ended on the last bar right for a profit of 531 now the other thing it ha uh, that happened is that it also showed up on this scan that we have and this scans actually um, a part of this UTS strategy uh, that people get from me and one of the things that uh, you notice is that uh, you know there's this column that displays the relative volume so this thing had 3.7 x relative volume you know meaning that uh, uh, you know, was trading 370% or 3.7x its normal volume. And obviously this was based on the news that came out. And uh, when so many options are getting bought, uh, you know, the market maker that sells you the option is now delta negative. And in order to stay delta neutral, they have to buy stocks in the open market. And that's one of the reasons why you get, you know, uh, this huge, uh, you know, upward move in the stock, right? So uh, again, uh, as I said, uh, you know, you could also look at the reverse of this and let, let, let's instead of call, you want to look at puts and uh, then you would need to reverse the call sizzle index to the put sizzle index and leave it to that value and run the scan and let's see what kind of results do we get. So app, uh, as you can see that uh, Apple had a f fair bit of volume that was traded uh, for these uh, 170 puts that are expiring uh, next week right 
and uh, so these went up uh, you know almost like 50 percent in value and you can sort this by percent change to see uh, and a lot of this activity happened in uh, bed bath and beyond but that had already gapped down in the morning so uh, you, you know you would have uh, had to have puts the day prior to it like thursday uh, for you to actually make any money on it but on Oxy, you could have bought the same day, and some of those options just went up uh, significantly. We'll take a, uh, we'll, we'll uh, you know, get back into that, and I'll show you that um, as well. And the option type was call, and then run the scan. And uh, uh, this, this is uh, two. As you can see, some of these options just went up. Um, astronomically right 2200 percent 1400 percent 830 percent and many people in the discord room that I run were able to take advantage of these and not that we you know we made 800 percent because we uh, we were buying and uh, you know taking profits and then rolling them over but either way this was one of the most profitable trade that we had on Friday again you can play around with these numbers you can change the volume you can change uh, you know call sizzle index and see what kind of uh, stocks do you find and uh, you know if you get better results do share with us uh, and uh, leave those in the comments and then uh, you know we'll uh, certainly incorporate that and improve the scan collectively so i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye